Hi. So we're going to get you ready to do your very first lab called the Amazing Aluminum Foil Lab. And it's a very simple lab. Its sole purpose really is just to get you used to doing some lab work in chemistry. You're going to have a chance to make a few measurements and you're going to get to watch a pretty cool chemical reaction. What I'm going to do in this video is give you an idea of what the procedure is going to look like. Now, you'll already be able to download the handout for this procedure and uh, you'll know more or less what the steps are and if you have it you can go ahead and follow along uh, but uh, we're just going to take you through the basics I'm not going to actually do the whole experiment because I don't want to spoil any surprises especially with the chemical reaction I want you to observe that for yourself we've talked a little bit about observations and inferences remember you're making observations in this lab okay and we're going to start by taking a look at the equipment that we're going to be using so I apologize that my head is out of frame I'm really up here, but I wanted you to see the equipment that we're going to be using so you get to look at my very snazzy tie and gold tie clip uh, during the, the next section of this video. So we have uh, this. This We know what this is. This is a, a beaker, 250 milliliter beaker, and we have a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. We have a stirring rod. We have a square, more or less, of aluminum foil. It may not be a perfect square, but that could come into play later on at the end of the lab. And we have a centimeter ruler right here. And we have a couple of other things uh, just over here. We have the, uh, a balance. This is a digital balance that we'll be using. We have the substance called copper to chloride and uh, some weighing dishes to weigh out what we need. And we'll, we'll talk about that later. We're also going to need some deionized water, and you should know where to get that by now. So very simply, the first section of this lab is just measuring a few things about aluminum foil. With the centimeter ruler, you are going to measure the length and width of your square of aluminum, or rectangular piece of aluminum, length and width. So you're just going to measure it in centimeters. Now these rulers, most of these rulers have inches and centimeters, and you're going to be measuring them in centimeters. Try to be as accurate with your measurements as you can. Okay? So you're going to measure the length and the width. You're also then going to measure the mass of the aluminum foil. And to measure the mass of the aluminum foil, you simply come over to the balance right here. I'll move our copper chloride out of the way so you can see. You come to the balance. This is the balance. You put, turn the balance on, make sure that it's on. Once it goes through its uh, cycle up, if you need to uh, turn it on, you may, you may need to wait a second. But once it's on, you just go ahead and place the aluminum foil on the balance pan. You read the digital display, and you write it down in your data table. That's all there is to it. For the second part of this experiment, we're going to be doing a chemical reaction with the copper 2 chloride. And you're going to need to weigh out about 5 to 7 grams. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that using the balance uh, in the most efficient way possible. All right, so just to give you a quick rundown on how to properly weigh something uh, in a nice, convenient manner. We've got our balance here. Um, make sure again that your balance is on and you may or may not be able to actually see any of the numbers in the display if you can't that's fine it doesn't really matter uh, what matters is that we um, are actually going to just use the display if the display does not say zero you'll see a button at the bottom sometimes it says tear t-a-r-e sometimes it says zero and that button allows you to re-zero the balance it sets it back to zero and that's kind of the trick that we're going to use to get this balance to actually measure uh, what we're what we're going to try to have it measure okay so we're going to hit tear just make sure that the the balance goes back to zero and then we're going to take a weighing dish this is a weighing dish a little plastic dish and we're going to put it up on top of the balance pan and we're going to press the tear or zero button again and we're going to do that so that the balance effectively doesn't see the weighing dish. The weighing dish becomes invisible to the balance if we do this. Okay, So we put the weighing dish on, we hit the zero button. Now we take our copper 2 chloride, and you'll have a chance to look at this stuff a little bit better, but it is a very cool color green. And we're going to take this and we're going to add it very carefully to the weighing dish until we see somewhere between 5 and 7 grams on here. 
So you use a scoopula and you carefully add about five to seven grams of copper two chloride into your weighing dish. Because you hit the zero button before you started adding, that weighing dish is invisible to the balance. And that means that the only thing the balance is measuring is the mass of the copper two chloride that's in your weighing dish. And you then take that back to your station. Now you're ready for the last part of the experiment. You're going to do this really in three parts. Now that you've measured out the mass of copper two chloride, you're now going to create a solution. You're going to mix that copper two chloride with water. And you're going to make some observations of that system. Make sure that you make three observations for every step of the procedure. So here we are with the last step. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your copper two chloride that you measured out and you're going to pour it into your beaker. Like that. And you're going to make some observations of what this is. What it looks like. Maybe what it smells like. Remember, the only thing you don't do in lab is ever, ever taste. Don't ever taste. So, from there, you're going to add some water. You're going to use the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder to add 100 milliliters of deionized water. You're going to pour that in. And you're not going to stir yet. You're going to make some observations. Once you've made your observations, you're going to then stir it up really, really well until all of this stuff dissolves. It makes a nice mixture, a solution, we call it. And then you're going to make some more observations. And finally, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your square of aluminum foil. You're going to crumple it up into a loose ball. A loose ball, not very tight. And you're going to put it into the solution. You can use your stirring rod to push it down and you're going to observe this reaction. You will have lots and lots of observations that you'll be able to make about this reaction as it's occurring. Remember, it's important that you prepare this lab in your lab notebook before you come to class. You don't want to come in and try to cookbook your way through it. You want to have read it, you want to watch this video so that you know what to expect, and you want to have set up your data table so that you can just plug in the numbers when you make the measurements. Should be a very quick, very fun lab. Once you're done with the experiment, we'll talk about, well, what do I do with all this data now? Now that, it's, now that I've got some data, some information, uh, what do I do with it? And that's called the post lab, and we'll talk about that in a different video. Okay? So, get the handout if you don't already have it, and get the lab prepared. And don't forget to wear proper attire when you come in to do this lab. Closed-toed shoes especially. Okay, no sandals, no Birkenstocks. I'm looking at you. Have a good one.